For the most part, Naperville does live up to hype. You know, plenty of things to do, a great downtown area, awesome public schools, and so much more. But does it all live up to the hype truthfully? And before making a move here to Naperville, Illinois, I'm gonna give you guys some reasons and things that might make Naperville a little overrated. Hey guys, I'm Brian Blankenship, a Chicagoland realtor, helping people just like you relocate to and move in and around the Chicagoland area. And I love to be your real estate agent when the time comes. Call me, text me, shoot me an email, info down below in the description. But the first thing in my opinion that makes Naperville overrated is actually the downtown area. Look, you've probably seen a lot of my videos before and you guys know that I rave about the downtown area in Naperville. And while there are so many things to do here, a lot of people that are relocating here to the area that are from out of state and not really familiar with the landscape of the Chicago suburbs, think that downtown Naperville is the only downtown area here in the suburbs. I would say a ton of people overlook the other downtown areas like downtown Lyle, downtown St. Charles, downtown Whedon, downtown Glen Allen, and just a lot of the other surrounding suburbs. And I feel like when that happens, people look to see and they think just like Naperville is just like the best thing when it comes to a downtown area. While it does have a lot of great things, you know, there are a lot of great downtown areas in the surrounding area. And at the end of the day, you know, it is a great downtown area. And, you know, after you do everything in downtown Naperville, you have easy access to all these surrounding downtown areas in these different suburbs. But also another thing is that I get a lot of calls and texts from people from the city of Chicago making that lateral movement relocating here for Naperville because of the downtown area, thinking that it, you know, truly resembles, you know, downtown Chicago. But at the end of the day, no downtown area, truthfully, even in the country, I would say, would replicate downtown Chicago because I'm extremely biased. And I think the state of Chicago is the best city in the world when it comes to the food scene, entertainment, and everything else in between. But the beautiful thing here is that Naperville has a train station just south of Ogden in downtown Naperville to take you all the way to downtown Chicago. And there's one thing that was super overrated in downtown Naperville, in my opinion, was actually the Starbucks Reserve. And if you don't know what the Starbucks Reserve is, just think of a very fancy Starbucks. They actually had the same one in the city of Chicago, but it was always overcrowded. You know, the normal Starbucks would do the do the job honestly for coffee and stuff like that. And it was just absolutely insane all the time. But the first thing I want to talk about that was, you know, would be considered overrated to some people and maybe locals is downtown Naperville. Another reason that I would say Naperville is overrated is because of the quote unquote crown jewel, which is the Naperville Riverwalk. Me being a, you know, Chicago suburban night my whole life, you know, the Naperville Riverwalk, just what I've thought of it, what everyone thinks about it that is local to here is that one place that everyone has a picture at or of, truthfully. I mean, if you go on Instagram and you type in like the Naperville Riverwalk, you'll just see a ton of people's pictures there, you know, taking pictures for homecoming, prom, engagement, photos, wedding photos, kind of everything you can imagine. People are taking pictures there in downtown Naperville at the Riverwalk specifically. There are a lot of great things at the Riverwalk though. You know, you have access to Centennial Beach and the city of Naperville is truly trying to make the focal point of downtown Naperville being the Riverwalk. In my opinion, and I do a lot of videos like this on Instagram about what's coming to the area and my thoughts on what should be brought here to Naperville is that it'd be pretty awesome if downtown Naperville ever came to, you know, the conclusion or predicted or and brought to this the town like a you know eating scene restaurants and everything like right along the river walk i think that would be really cool like they have it in the chicago river in downtown chicago i would say if i was personally heading to downtown neighborville you know the river walk isn't kind of on the top of my list personally but i know for a lot of people it is we have a office in downtown neighborville as well and especially in the suburbs you can see a lot of people just hanging out on their work breaks and everything like that, just taking a walk, enjoying lunch, enjoying company, taking phone calls, and just really de-stressing from their work days. Or you'll see a lot of people just, you know, walking around, hanging out. I think it's a great spot to truly just, you know, blow off steam and just go for some great walks and, you know, just enjoy what Neighborville is all about. So the river walk for sure, in my opinion, it can be a little overrated because, you know, a lot of people that are local to Chicago suburbs know the Neighborville Riverwalk kind of being that one place where everyone has pictures at. And before I get to the next thing, if you haven't yet and you've been on this channel before, if you could please hit the subscribe button as well as leave a like. It tells YouTube I'm doing a really good job at making this video kind of thing and I would truly appreciate it a ton. The next thing I want to chat about on this list as overrated in my opinion is that 
that the average sales price for a home in Naperville is right around $700,000. And what is this $700,000 getting you in Naperville? And it's truly getting you about four to five bedrooms, two and a half bath plus, with a basement typically finished. And you know, what you're pretty much looking at is about 3,000 plus total square footage with above living as well as basement also. I would say it's definitely on the pricier side, but you know, you gotta remember is that you can definitely find homes that are more on the affordable end as well as much more on the pricier end of that $700,000. You know, I have a lot of clients that are looking in that 500 to 600K range. And I also have a lot of clients that are looking in between that 800 and 1.1 mil. I would just say it truly depends on where you're looking for in Naperville and what you need for your day-to-day -day living when it comes to a house. And while this is overrated because a lot of families that are looking for homes here in Naperville, typically one of the common themes is that people are looking for either District 203 and District 204. But a lot of people don't realize here is that there's actually other suburbs that filter into these Naperville schools and District 203 and District 204 specifically. You have towns like parts of Aurora, parts of Bolingbrook, parts of Lyle that actually filter into District 203 and District 204. And with that being said, you can typically find, you know, some of these suburbs with a much more affordable price tag rather than that average sales price of around $700,000 in Naperville. You know, it still fits to the same schools and you still have easy access to, you know, Naperville amenities and everything along that nature. But look, at the end of the day, there are a ton of families and individuals looking to make a move to Naperville, Illinois. So does that make it a little overrated? Kind of, but there's a lot of great things happening here. And there's a reason why so many families and individuals are making that move here to Naperville, Illinois. Now, this reason right here is something that gets brought up a lot from you guys that typically call me. And I kind of want to bring it up on this video to kind of clear the air and answer it. But a lot of people ask me is that, you know, whether they're relocating from out of state or from the state of Chicago and making that lateral movement is how is the traffic here? And because, you know, Naperville is quote unquote overrated with a ton of people moving here, does it, you know, affect the commute times and traffic a ton. And yes, I guess, you know, with that being said, Naperville is a little overrated because so many people are moving here per se, but it does make the traffic a little hectic. You know, Route 59 gets a little congested during rush hour and, you know, getting to work and stuff like that. And, you know, you have Ogden getting a little hectic that's running east to west and just getting on the expressways can be a little hectic if you are getting to work as well. And really during hectic times, whether there are events going on or even in the downtown area, area, it's going to get traffic just in general, just like anywhere else. But I would say is that, you know, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I used to live in California and California traffic was hectic for sure. And traffic in, you know, the state of Chicago is much worse than what it is here in Naperville. I have a lot of those families and individuals making that move from the state of Chicago here to Naperville and the surrounding suburbs. And one thing is that they're typically still working in the state of Chicago and need access there. So you have access, whether you want to drive, to downtown Chicago or even take the Metro line. We have one right on Route 59. And like I said earlier in this video, we have one in downtown Naperville as well, just south of Ogden. At the end of the day, there are a ton of people moving here to Naperville. And if traffic and a lot of people moving here makes it overrated to, you know, cause that traffic, you know, that's something that's okay in my opinion. And uh, something that I could look past for sure, because I'm always traveling here, being in the surrounding suburbs all the time. So what do you guys think? Do you live in Naperville or the surrounding area? Do you guys think, these are some things that make Naperville overrated. What do you think makes Naperville overrated to you? Let me know in the comments below. At the end of the day, there, like I said, there are a lot of people making a move here to Naperville. And I get calls and texts all the time on this. But you know, if you had any questions, make a move to Naperville, whether it be next week or next year or any of the surrounding suburbs, reach out because I'd absolutely be honored to serve you. Call, text, shoot me an email. All my information is down below in the description. Watch one of these videos up here and I will see you guys on the next video.